Hello everyone, welcome back to Piston Cup Productions and today I'm going to be showing you my entire Radiator Springs diorama. Of course, winter themed because that just adds in the extra spice. So I'm going to give you a little tour during the daytime and of course a tour during the nighttime. So without further ado, let's get to it. So it's more Cars Land inspired more than anything. For example, here at the front, you have the Radiator Springs sign, kind of like at Cars Land to take a photo with the snow car. And you have a photographer, of course, to take your shot. You have Mater's Junkyard Jamboree right here. Mater's uh, sign has a hat, just like at Cars Land. And at the back, you have, of course, uh, Mater's Petting Zoo or um, the actual Junkyard Jamboree ride. I don't have the Junkyard Jamboree die cast. They were sold out when I went uh, to Cars Land in November 2021. So. Uh, very sad. Hopefully I can get them through eBay or something. Over here at the Cozy Cone, uh, we have Sheriff talking to some next gens, maybe give him some old timer advice. The Legends taking a nap. I don't blame him. Uh, Mac, well, the semi part from behind is parked over there. And then down the road, you got some random characters. Uh, here at the Cones, actually, you have a little cone tree. And you got Sally, of course, looking to see if anyone wants to pick out the final cone right there. And then down the road right here, you'll see Fillmore offering the King, all decked out for the holidays in metallic paint, um, some organic fuel. You know, why only try Dynaco when you can have Fillmore's organic fuel? And then down here at um, Sarge's, you got Jackson Storm buying some surplus from Sarge, and Sarge is all decked out as well. I use the beach racers, kind of like to represent snow. And I think it works quite well, it works fine. It does a trick from an aesthetic point of view. From a distance, you can't even tell that they're beach racers. Anywho, over here at the Curio Shop, um, there's not much going on besides Mater coming down the road with the Santa hat. And you got Lightning McQueen, of course, and that's the beach racer, but you can't even tell that it's the beach racer. Kind of looks like a snowy uh, racer. Same thing with uh, those next gens I'm using right there. Those are the beach racers. I bet you didn't even notice. Same thing with Danny down here, also a beach racer, and he's talking with Bobby and Cal, as well as Luigi and Guido, and Guido is holding up the sign, and looks like they got a customer, Leroy Traffic, buying some new snow tires for the holidays. And then you got Cruz right here, coming down the main street, um, and Cam Spinner just got a fresh paint job, so he's coming out of Ramones. And at the very end right here, you got Stanley, and he's got some nice stuff going on there with some lights and some garland and all that nice stuff. Uh, down this road right here, this came from this part right here that is included in Ramon's um, Precision Series set. This right here, you can come down here and basically get into Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters. And this track is from the Mini Racers. And um, if you cross over, you get a little something I made. This isn't based off of Cars Land or the movie Cars. A little ice rink with some snowmobiles and a little Piston Cup sign. Piston Cup Racing Series. Originally, I wanted to think of this as Radiator Springs Racers, but there's no way that little pathetic thing is Radiator Springs Racers. So it's just a little bonus, I guess you could say. And then inside here of Luigi's, there is a battery pack, because once you turn it on, these lights right here turn on to illuminate, kind of like a zigzag going all around right here. Kind of like how Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters has lights that zigzag across the, the ride when it's nighttime. But we'll see that later tonight. Um, there is a little fire hose in case of an emergency. Uh, what else do we got? Of course, how can we forget Flo's V8 Cafe? So we got some cars down there taking a sip. You got some oil cans down there. You got Red with the Christmas hat as well. May just got some competition. Uh, Mac is taking the big sip as well of, uh, I hope it's not all in all. And you got Ramon here as well, taking a break from work. Since Cam Spinner was his last customer for the hour, then he came to get a quick breather. And there's Flo, of course, the lovely wife of Ramon. And you've got, of course, some waitresses working holiday hours, getting the extra pay in, Mia and Tia. Uh, you got the phone booth right there. And down here, you actually have more dining area for the town. And Minnie and Van are going on a date. And I got Millie to um, do some bartending services, because why not? And you got a little tree right there that I placed next to Ramon's. Um, at the crossing right here, we got some Christmas carolers. It is the Sweet Tea Band from Cars 3. You got Sweet Tea, uh, Robert, uh, I forgot the other guy's name. Oh, Pam, and the other one is named, I forgot the green guy's name. Someone let me know, because I am completely blank. But yeah, Sweet Tea's 
Christmas carol carolers band, my bad. I can't ever say that word. Um, so yeah, you got a little Christmas caroling going on there with their instruments. I don't know, I just thought it was a neat idea. Kind of like at the corner of a, of a building, you know, as you're coming down the main street, you get to hear some holly jolly songs. And actually, to make it a little bit more realistic, to have it actually seem like they're singing, I have an Amazon Alexa underneath this chair. So when I want to connect music via Bluetooth or via Bluetooth, I don't know how you say it. Um, you just connect this right here to the wall and it'll play the music you desire to make it truly seem like they are singing. What else is there here? Um, I think that's pretty much it for the tour. Uh, here and there, there are a few other like details. For example, right here at the Here It Is sign, there's a clock right there. Um, there's a guaranteed no tailgaters cannon right there. There's a hay bale right there. You know, lots of little details that you just gotta truly get down to scale to look at, to appreciate. Cause I mean, for example, down here, there's another tree, there's a little snowball. There's more characters that, I mean, I didn't even show earlier. I mean, the Brickyard is there as well. Francesco's visiting as well. Eh, getting a little too close to Sally there, but um, that's probably why McQueen's zooming down the road trying to protect this girl. You're gonna love it, especially when it's nighttime. So I'll find some good non-copyrighted Christmas music to play over the nighttime when it all lights up so that it kind of seems like they're singing but at the same time you're seeing the whole town light up just like at Cars Land.